So last night on the non-award winning drone and sundry weekly stuff of nonsense chat we spoke to James Dunthorne about the Urban Air Mobility Project that he's part of in Bristol in the West Country in the UK and uh, that got me thinking yeah I'd love to uh, to do a little bit of simulation this morning based around um, flying in the West Country which is where I'm from going shopping from Tesco's in Yeovil back to the playing field which we used to fly in and out of well I didn't fly but I flew as a passenger in and out of in a weight shift micro light and uh, gosh every time I go back to that little playing field now I think what on earth was the bloke thinking but anyway jumped in the Cavalon and what you're not seeing now and it's still ongoing is the tuning of um, of the yaw it really is hard to get the yaw running right in the Sing and X-Plane so for those that don't know we're running RG Pilot uh, as the flight control stack uh, in a computer and piping its commands into X-Plane so as far as the autopilot uh, knows or thinks it is flying something in the real world uh, but of course it's flying X-Plane 11 uh, and this is a full-size Cavalon um, so it's not it's not flying at model scale so some of the some of the tunings a lot bigger than you'd see in models but the the relationship between your and power is enormous in this thing and then I guess also uh, we have got a slight influence of that rotor we shouldn't have too much because it's an auto gyro um, so that's what I'm trying to tame here I'm trying to tame uh, the, the the adverse yaw that's happening in the turns I'm not doing a brilliant job but it's much better than it was it's no longer departing flight I could get it into situations where it would depart flight quite easily um, <laughs> which is never a good thing is it so sit back relax and see if you can notice the tuning changing uh, as we go along we'll put it into a loiter circle a fly to here and then we'll land back on in Dowlish Wake 